here we fucking go again. I love the smell of I don't give a fuck in the morning. They're upset. There. Have a good day, everyone. Right. Mm. Off to prison. What? This shit. Sitting there getting my fat bitch on and I'm choosing violence today. In 2016, 45% of white women voted for Hillary Clinton and 98% of black women voted for Hillary Clinton. 55% of white women voted for Ping Pong, the tangerine donkey testicle. And then there were the one-third of eligible voters that just didn't show up to the polls at all, or the people who wrote in Bernie Sanders and threw their vote down the toilet. So if you're one of those that voted for Cheeto Tweedalini, the friendless urinal cake, or threw your vote away, or just didn't show up at all, you have absolutely no right to be upset, wringing your hands and weeping that Roe v. Wade was just overturned by the Supreme Court. When you're asking yourself those questions, how did this happen? You should probably look in the mirror. 98% of black women and 45% of white women tried desperately to keep this from happening. And you just derped to the polls voting against your own interests or didn't show up at all. Fuck you. Hey, if I can have your attention for a couple of minutes, we're going to break down what's not being said. You see, Clarence Thomas was sure to mention contraception and gay marriage. But there's a lot of things he didn't mention. They're literally coming for the entire 14th Amendment. The entire 14th Amendment. They've also made changes to the Miranda rights. You may want to go look that up. You see, Clarence Thomas, their wife, Jenny Thomas, she, yeah, she has some questions that she needs to answer in the January 6th hearings. Why is that important? So if you notice behind me, it says Section 3. That is a part of the 14th Amendment. And it reads, no person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States who, having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States or as a member of any state legislator or as an executive or judicial officer of any state to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. But Congress may, by a vote of two-thirds of each house, remove such disability. And though Justice Thomas may be tap dancing and doing the coonery and buffoonery that he does, please do not get lost. See what they don't want you to see. Hear what they don't want you to hear and ask Congress to impeach Justice Thomas as soon as possible. He is a dangerous to anything that looks like, sounds like, walks like, talks like, quacks like democracy. Thank you for your time. President Trump, on behalf of all the MAGA patriots in America, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. What'd she say? Let's play it in slow-mo. Victory for why life in the Supreme Court yesterday. So she thanks President Trump because, of course, he appointed Kavanaugh and Comey. And then she said what we all been saying, what black women have been saying. It was always about white women. It wasn't about us. She said historic victory for white lives. They're not even trying to hide it. When are y'all going to wake up? There was violence last night at a women's rights rally in Rhode Island. Jennifer Rourke, a candidate for Rhode Island State Senate, was punched in the face by her Republican opponent. His name is Jean Lugo, or maybe it's Jean Lugo. He's a Republican, an active duty police officer, and running against her for State Senate. Here is the video of the encounter.
He punched a black woman in the face at a woman's rally. Everybody better start shouting. Protect black women, especially now. Weird that you're hiding behind a profile with no picture while you spew your hate. Interesting. Are you part of the Proud Boys, Patriot Front? Say it with your whole chest. Put your whole face in a video. Until then, you're a peon. And oh, Trump is not going to win. It's not Trump that we're paying attention to. But yeah, say it with your whole face. Hey bums, zoom in on this. Zoom in, you might learn something. But don't backpedal, double down, whatever y'all call that shit. You started it, finish it. Ain't nobody scared of you or none of those raggedy ass, punk ass men over there of the fold. Threatening, harassing, intimidating women on this app. That's punk shit. And I ain't scared on this side. I'm putting that the fuck out there. So you want to start some shit? Finish that shit. Real shit. I got your attention and you got mine. Finish that shit. Don't backpedal. Don't backtrack. Do what you want to do. Make it happen. Make it happen. We ain't scared over here. Christians, especially white Christians, watch this video and I'll be right back. Because when people talk about homosexuality in the Bible and it condemns this, first of all, I'll take them down the history lesson. Uh, homosexuality didn't get entered into the Bible until 1946. There was another council of white men when they were developing the Revised Standard Version of the Bible who changed words like masturbator, pervert, into homosexual. Wonder why a group of white men decided to change the words in the Bible. I wonder why pedophilia is not against anything in the Bible. Y'all ever wonder that? Why we have laws about what we can wear what we can put in our hair, our body's a temple, what we can eat, we can't eat pig, we can't eat crab, Deuteronomy alone, hundreds of rules, but yet there is no rule in the Bible against pedophilia. Wake up, you're being tricked. Your problem is not with the LGBTQI plus community. And because of Christianity, we all have to suffer now. Let me revise that last part, because I'm wrong. Because of Christianity, the entire world suffers. It's been suffering since the introduction of the one God. Wake up. The Bible has been changed. Leave people alone. Haven't y'all done enough to every indigenous people on the planet? When will Christians have enough? Get your fucking ass up and overthrow capitalism. It seems like nobody wants to overthrow capitalism these days. That's so you true. To, you have to be surrounding yourself with people who want to overthrow capitalism. Stop scrolling and watch this video. I'll be right back. We are here in Missouri outside of Planned Parenthood, and I'm sure you heard the news today that Roe v. Wade was overturned. And that means that in Missouri right now, it is illegal to provide an abortion even in the case of rape and incest. It'll be a class B felony, punishable with up to 15 years in prison. So we at The Good Liars, we have a, a very special message for the Supreme Court. Go fuck yourselves. Agreed.
they can really go fuck themselves. Not the three that voted against this bullshit. The six, all of y'all can go fuck yourselves. So now that we are well aware that they have overturned Roe v. Wade with a super majority vote of 6-3, I want you to know we're also well aware that Congress has the ability to open four more seats. And thanks to Mitch McConnell, you know, in his infinite wisdom, he made sure that 60 votes are no longer required to, to confirm Supreme Court justices. So, what should be done now? Strap up, ladies, and fix it. Get it done. Reach out to your congressperson and let them know to fix what has been broken. Watch this video. And I don't know if I'm coming back because I don't think I could be nice about this shit. But watch this video. All right, so let me tell you two things that bother me about Juneteenth. First is that I don't think people even understand what they're celebrating. I think they're celebrating it because they've been told to celebrate it and they feel bad uh, it's for some form of white guilt or whatever it may be uh, for, for blacks and, and what the history that they've had. And they don't even know exactly what they're celebrating for, because first of all, uh, the Emancipation Proclamation was signed 1863, January 1, 1863. That was a document that allowed uh, the abolished slavery in the southern states at that time, okay? And that was still not uh, abolishing slavery in the Union and in the border states, okay? So Juneteenth, what that actually was, was an order number three, which informed the blacks in Texas at that time about the Emancipation Proclamation, which occurred two years earlier. So the way uh, slavery was ended up being abolished, not in, until in 1865, December 6th, when uh, the 13th Amendment was ratified. So that's when slavery was abolished. So, so if we're going to be celebrating the abolishment of slavery, as we should, we should be celebrating it on December 6th together as an American holiday, which ties in to my second point and problem with Juneteenth. Where is the American flag today? You know, you, you don't see it. Uh, all you say, go on, to, for example, go on Google. Type in Juneteenth on, on, on Google and see what happens. You have like confetti that's black, red, and green. And that signifies uh, Pan-Africanism and the Pan-African flag. Totally okay. Whatever you, whatever, uh, you want, that, that's okay. But the point is, where's the American flag? How are we forgetting that uh, 360,000 Union soldiers died for to abolish slavery? White, white soldiers. I mean, are we just going to ignore ignore that? It wasn't just uh, blacks fighting for it. It was whites that believed in it. That's what the Republican Party was about. It was about abolishing slavery. So that's the problem with Juneteenth. Do you understand that our ancestors were stolen from their land? And that when they came here, they didn't think of themselves as Americans? Because they got stolen from their land. Well, maybe you don't understand. So let me give you like a little example. Say, for instance, there's a planet called Assholes. And there are Assholians that decide that they want to enslave Americans. So they come to Earth and they grab a bunch of Americans and they bring them to their planet, right? And they enslave them. They're cruel. Unjust. Would you think of yourself as an Assholian? I'm just curious. The fact that you think that we need to fly a flag, the American flag, on the day where we are celebrating when all the slaves knew that they were free makes no damn sense. It's because of Americans and white people that were here. Our land is al Kabulan, Africa. Fly the American flag, 4th of July. That's what you do. Every time black people do something, white people got something to say. Mind the business that pays you. The holiday is not for you. I know it's hard to resolve that emotion. You know, white people cannot take it when they can't have something, especially white men. Mind your business. The fuck? We're supposed to be appreciative because men died after they stole us. Because they didn't want expansion of slavery in the West. And the only reason why the Africans were 
freed in the South is because the North was losing. It's real weird how they didn't free the slaves in the North during the war. Read a book. Stop Googling shit. Have a good day. And remember, diversity equal power. We can change the world if we work together and protect black women. Until next time. What the f Holy S. Jasmine, hey girl. Oh, hey, how are you? Girl, I've been better. It's rough out here right now. Mm -hmm. I feel you, I feel yeah. you. Yeah, how you doing? Why you feel me? How you girl, doing? Girl, I just quit my job yesterday. So girl, I'm I got laid off from my job this morning. <laughs> Wow, this morning, I'm girl, sorry. they laid me off. I got wrote up 75 times. That. It's all right. I'm broke, too. <laughs> but, girl, what's yeah, going on girl. with you? What What else is going yeah, on I with you? I my job yesterday, uh -huh. and, you know, I had a little stomach bug last week. Girl, I had so. a stomach bug last week, too. <laughs> yes. How you bad did. was yours? I had open-heart surgery, and they had to remove my stomach. Wait, you <laughs> had a stomach bug, and they had to remove your stomach? <laughs> yes, girl. I ain't ate in seven days, girl. Okay. I don't eat no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. but anyway, anyway, how's your husband? How are y'all you know, doing? it's a little rough right now. I just found out, you know, my husband cheated on me. Girl, my husband cheated on me too, girl. <laughs> but mine cheated with a horse. I came <laughs> home, I heard, you, you know what, you win. Friend. What you mean? You win. <laughs> I win what? You what win. You? I'll talk to you later. What you mean? Hey, llamas, behave yourself. Um, don't tell us what to do. Look, the pride's been here, and we've been doing stuff the right way, kind of. But you guys are out here acting crazy as hell. Stop it. Y'all over here in people's comment section and lives are just being all just reckless. Reckless. So? Why you gotta be so bossy? Why can't we just have fun? Let us be pride shit. <sighs> Fucking llamas. Go sit your ass down somewhere. Just go sit down. Just, just try to behave. Oh, we'll behave. No, we not. <laughs> what? I said go sit down. Fucking llamas. Shit. I be telling the llamas to chill. Because the pride be mean. But the sloths. We coming for everybody. Huh? I see you sloths. What you think? Because you hanging from a tree? I don't see you doing problematic stuff. You behave yourself too. It's so hard being the pride. <laughs> I didn't take my ass to bed. <laughs>